that definitely helps us go faster. Right now, I think it's only using the fortune on the cool. But yeah, look at this, guys. We are already a third of the way through. Hey there, guys. MC Blue. Today, we are going to become some fate called the prison. Now, before we even start, I just want to say, um, if there's thunder in the background, I'm sorry. I literally just opened up, um, Minecraft and everything, and I just came on to play, and, like, five seconds before I clicked the record button, um, for whatever reason, weather just decided it was gonna start firing, uh, lightning. Well, I didn't see it, so technically thunder out of nowhere. Uh, but yeah, if there's any of those sounds, I'll try my best to edit them out. Not exactly sure how well I'll be able to do those, so, um, yeah. Sorry about that. You may be able to hear that, I, I don't know. But yeah, so, let's get straight into it. We are here on the Fade Cloud Prison, and I've got quite a few things planned for this video. I need to rank up a few more mines, and I do want to show you some of the features we're going to be, uh... Well, some of the features I will probably use, as well as some stuff that we're going to be doing in later episodes. But the first thing I want to show you guys is Slash Miner. Now, none of these are currently open, but the way that it basically works, it's an automatic mining system. So, like, you just put one account in here. I'm probably going to have to do this late at night because during the day, considering the fact that there's two or three hundred people on at all times, I'm not going to be able to get much done. Uh, so, yeah. Media Warp E. Is this the mine that I'm on? Yeah, I'm on E rank. So, this is the E mine. I do not have a clue what's making me lag so much, but there is definitely something making me lag. Uh, and it's been making me lag for a while, uh, just like since today, basically. But something's making me not get like 60 frames a second, which is confusing, but oh well. Um, yeah, anyways, we need to grind through this mine, um, preferably also through mine F, and we also need to... Uh, work on a good pickaxe, because you guys can see this is just the start of pickaxe, and this has efficiency 20, I don't know why it has it twice, but it does, fortune 20, and unbreaking 20, and then you can see I, uh, you can't see that because I can't move my mouse over it, but if you look towards the left, it's on the left side, uh, kind of bottom middle, it has the whole level 1 experience, um, and the percentage and everything. And basically, uh, that is like a leveling up system. And once you level up your pickaxe, uh, I believe you either can add an enchant to it, or it like... I'm not exactly sure how it works, but basically what I'm trying to say is that you can level up your pickaxe and get make it better, basically. Um, so yeah, I'm going to go ahead and mine through this mine, see if I can get uh, enough experience to level up to level or to rank F, and then hopefully we'll go through the F mine as well. Although I'm not fully sure how much we'll be able to get done of that. Uh, we do have a slash fly, in case we ever need to do it. Um, and I also, I want to show you guys, uh, there's a few things I do want to show you guys uh, about just like the, I suppose, uh, features that the server has. Uh, we can't do them all in this one video, obviously. Uh, and there's a few of them we aren't going to be able to do for a few videos, but like, for example, this one is going to be one of the major ones. It is housing. So if you've seen, for example, Sunday's Jailbreak prison series, uh, you may, oops, sorry about that. You may know what that is. Um, basically this is currently broken right now. I don't know why. Uh, but you get your own little jail cell and most of the time you like set up a little shop in it. And, uh, so yeah, that's going to be really cool. I'm planning on doing that. I do not get why I lag spike at spawn. I did it in the first video. I'm lag spiking again at spawn this video. It's really confusing me. I have no clue why this is happening. Uh, but there is also a shop that we can buy some stuff from. And uh, I believe there's like certain um, quests. I think it might be quests. But someone like that. Is that a YouTuber? We have, we've got another YouTuber here. Mr. Juicebox Man. I think he's AFK. To be completely honest, I think he's AFK. Speaking of AFK, can we AFK? No, we can't. Uh, and this is the enchant shop. Now, this is how we're going to be uh, enchanting our pickaxe. You guys can see, you can get a fortune enchantment, efficiency, and burst. Not sure what that is. Magician, not sure what that is. <clears throat> Combo, 
Not sure what that is. Oh, never mind. It, it tells me. I'm smart. Receive extra blocks. Mine faster. Explosions occur. This one I definitely need to work on. Um, chance to bl break one layer of the entire mine, which is definitely extremely overpowered. Receive more orbs from mining. Chance to receive double orbs. Receive a speed boost. I really want that one. Gain more keys from mining. So apparently there are keys, and I'm assuming that these are like opening keys, like like crate keys. But they could also be keys that let you rank up in some way, because I've seen that on Sunday series. I would assume though that these are crate keys. Uh, increase the chance of uh, receiving keys. Some more of that, and chance to receive an insane amount of orbs. But yeah, this is these are all the enchants, and also you can withdraw your orbs. You guys can see right here. Hopefully you're able to see my cursor, but on the right here it says that we have 2.6 million orbs. Now you get orbs sim quite simply from mining. You don't have to do anything special. You just get them the same way you get money. Like look, right now I've got 2606 311. Now I have 2606 312. And then 313, I assume. And then 314, 315, 316, 317, 318. As you can see. Uh, wait, I don't think I had 631 before, so I think it's... Wait, let me mine a little bit. It might be going up by a thousand as well. No, I don't know. But yeah, it increases your balance and your orbs at the same time, which is kind of... Uh, I would say that's pretty cool. Why am I suddenly lag spiking? I don't know. Sorry about the lag spiking. I really am. There's something wrong with this. I gotta figure out what's going on, but it just like, lag spikes for absolutely no reason. I'll see if I can find a fix for it, but I feel like it's something to do with the render mode thing. But yeah, here we go. We're back now. But yeah, let's keep mining. Mine as much down as we possibly can. Uh, I think my RAM is running out. I think that's the problem that's making me lag spike. My RAM is already running out. I don't know why, but it is. So I might have to restart Minecraft some point through this recorder recording. So if you guys end up seeing a random jump cut, that's probably where the lag spike just became, you know, too extreme for me to handle. I would, I would say that's probably what's going to happen. Uh, I would expect there to be some sort of restart. Um, but yeah, so we just, I need to grind my way as fast as I can. I need to get here as fast as I can because I do want to go a little bit more into uh, some of the other features because I only covered uh, enchants and, um, well, yeah, enchants, basically, and uh, slash miner, and also that I was going to be doing housing later on. Now, I do have a few uh, ideas for housing that I want to go through, um, and I want to make my house not only look good, like, on my end, but I also want it to be really buyer-friendly, because selling and trading through the uh, black market, as they call it, but really just the, um, but basically it's just the, you know, it's just your own shop. It's like a food stand on the side of the road or something, except instead of selling food, you sell diamonds and swords and stuff. Um, but yeah, I'm, I'm planning on doing that. Also, I believe last episode I said that the person, somebody had, like, person with the max bow had at least um, one trillion. This is just right now, they're saying 350 trillion. And this guy, 200 trillion. So I'm gonna say, uh, people are probably closer to the zillions. Probably somewhere in there. If they're, like, if 100 trillion is relatively common. So, you know, yeah, the server's pretty overpowered, I'd say. Definitely pretty overpowered. Um, yeah. You have 7.1 mi- Okay, so orbs don't go up as fast as money, I think. I think it's just like per block one orb. Let me see. So let me wait for this update to update. I know for coal it's one orb per block. For iron, is it the same? 534. 535. Yeah, it's exactly the same. So just per block you mine, basically, you get one um, one orb. But depending on the block, you get a certain amount of money. So I suppose that I suppose that all works out. Now. At spawn, I do want to kind of lag spike again. Great. I do want to show you guys the crates that I was talking about. You know how I said uh, with certain enchants you can get keys and all that. 
I want to show you guys all the crates that spawn because there are a ton. Uh, some of them that you can buy, some of them you get from leveling up, some of them you can get, um, I believe, with the keys that you get from mining and everything. So I do want to show you guys all those. Um, but not yet. I, I need to, I want to rank up at least through, um, at least through rank E first. I, I don't mind if we don't get to F in this video. I can do that in another video, but I do want to get at least to E because otherwise I would have made practically no progress at all. Uh, yeah, this, see this guy? Oh, wait, no, that's, that's a million. That's a million. Uh, not, not trillion. That's a million. Okay. <laughs> So maybe maybe it's orbs. Yeah, I think it's orbs that uh, he's talking since he's he's talking about five hundred and sixty million orbs. So I think the people that were talking about T, I think that's probably like normal money. I would say, like not not orbs. Um, so yeah, can we warp? Uh, can, can we slash mine again? I, I want to see if there's any spot I can go where I'm not gonna immediately fall down to the bottom. But I don't think that's gonna be really a choice. So I'm just gonna kind of walk around and mine as much as I can on the top because this is definitely faster than what I was getting done at the bottom even though this is still really slow since it's not like a solid um, layer there's a bunch of holes everywhere uh, it's, it's definitely faster because we're already nearly at 50 percent and we came up here with like 30 something percent so yeah I, I do kind of want to enchant my pickaxe right now but I'm not gonna do that until we finish warp E because I also want to show you guys the kits because you guys can see if I do slash kit, there is both member and member pick. This is member, so um, I I want to go through that and uh, pick whatever the best pickaxe is, so that we can actually put all of our enchants on that. Because I don't want all of our good enchants to be on a crappy pickaxe. Well, I mean this pickaxe is great, but you know crappy put into perspective by the fact like scroll up and uh, that is. Fortune 1898, Dragon Burst 50, Unbreaking 200, Efficiency 848. This is Unbreaking and Efficiency. This is Unbreaking 20 and Efficiency 21. And there goes the other uh, level of efficiency. I don't know why it was there in the first place, but it was for whatever reason. So, yeah. Uh, also, at spawn, there is a PvP arena. Now, I'm not going to PvP there just yet. I'm probably going to wait until housing releases for me to do any. PvP related stuff because I do want to wait until I can trade um, diamonds and stuff like that. And I also I do need to get like a lot of mines higher because I'm definitely not going out in the PvP arena with literally nothing. Um, I don't know exactly how I'm supposed to, supposed to get diamonds because the ores that are in these mines are like automatically selling themselves. So I'll probably buy them from somewhere, although I wouldn't know where. There is a slash shop at spawn that I could do it in. But again, I'd have to use it, or I'd have to put all that stuff through a crafting table, and I'm not going to do that until I've got a um, housing that I can, you know, store all my crafting blocks and everything in. But, uh, yeah, I do want to definitely go into the PvP arena, because that is probably one of the fastest ways that we're going to be able to get good gear uh, that we can sell to other people. Because I'm only going to probably have, like two or three sets i'm not going to keep all um all the sets that i get from pvping because if i do end up um if i do end up like losing a set for whatever reason i will already have two backups and if i don't get backups i'm sure that there's going to be like someone that's part of a friendly i don't know what the whole teaming system on here is but i'm sure there's something like clans or factions teams whatever um, I'm sure there's going to be someone in mine or a, like, truced clan that would be willing to, and if not, I'm sure we can always buy one, because if we're going to be selling, like, ten, we can buy one. Unless the, like, supply and demand here is just the worst thing ever, and so you can sell them to people for, like, I don't know why I'm, where I'm going with this, but unless I sell it to people for, like, way too cheap, then I should be selling it to people. And they try to sell it back to me for way more expensive than they should be selling it. I'm sure I can be able to get a god set. Um, well, good set. I don't know about god set, but a good set within a decent amount of time. Because, I mean, I don't know how much everything's going to cost. But considering that pickaxe is about 100 trillion times better than my current pickaxe. And I've already got 20 million and that costs like 560. 
<sighs> I'm that's probably marketed towards people at like warp M or mine M or whatever. I, I don't know how I don't know like the resources in each um different mime, but I'm sure that once you get to warp M, sorry about the thunder again, uh, but I'm sure that people that are currently in like warp M uh, have like gold and iron and everything. At, at the very least, they're at gold. I, I wouldn't be surprised if they have something like diamond, but I also don't know all the ores that go on, so like emerald may be a thing, it also may not. Uh, you know, quartz, nether quartz may be a thing, it may not. They may be only doing ores, but they could also... Actually, no, I don't think they are only doing ores, because this is, like, full coal block. So they could have, like... I'd say my name's at least gold. Po probably even just diamond ore. Uh, but, yeah, as I said, could be emerald ore, could be nether quartz ore. I'm not exactly sure, because I am relatively new to the server. I've only joined a few, like, a week or two ago, so... Um, I'm not the most educated in, you know, how all of the server works, but I, I get the general concept and that's about all I need because I'll learn more as I continue playing, I'm sure I will. Um, but yeah, on the, I would say on a side note, but this is the main topic of the video, so I guess on the main note, uh, we are very close to uh, getting to Warp F. We are at 91%, so hopefully within, like, 30 seconds, oh, this, hello there, sir, hopefully within 30 seconds, uh, we should be able to get to 100% and then rank up, I'm, I think it costs probably 25 million to rank up, I'm just, I don't know the exact amount, but, like, just judging by how close I am to 25 million and how close the percentage bar thing is, yeah, probably is 25 million. I really want to see if there's a way I can disable my GUI. I haven't seen a slash settings or anything yet. There we go. Let's do slash rank up. And there we go. We are now F rank. Uh, I want to see if there's a way I can disable my GUI, but there's no uh, slash settings or slash GUI or anything. But I think the GUI is making me lag a lot more because right now, got GUI enabled. I'm not even, like, moving around. I'm getting 45 frames a second. Turn it off. I'm getting around 100, look down, I'm getting 330, 330, and I'm getting 50, 3, 310, and uh, 60, so, you know, yeah, <laughs> anyways, I, I definitely need to work on that, and let's, let's check out what warp uh, F is, see if it's very good, so, it just looks to be, I think it's exactly the same as Warpy. Is it the same as Warpy? It looks like the same as Warpy, but with less um, stone. Because around in here, around, it looks like 20% stone. That was very loud thunder. There is not nearly as much stone in here. It's like probably 10%. And there's a lot of gold. So I'll be able to rank up pretty fast here. But let's not do that, at least not right now, because it took a little while. And I don't want to spend too long on this. Um, what was the other one? Yeah, this is a slash shop. I want to see if you can buy can you redstone uh, miscellaneous, maybe? Nope. You've got to be able to buy diamonds somewhere. But I'm not exactly sure where that would be. Uh, over here is the PvP arena I was telling about. Telling you about. Uh, it's pretty... Everyone... Not, okay, that's it. No, that's not an IGN. I, if there was a person with the IGN of... I can't type everyone. I would be, uh, I wouldn't be amazed. But that's a pretty, it's a pretty OG IGN. Uh, this is a PvP zone. I'm not gonna drop down. <laughs> he's, I think he's like waiting for me to drop down so that he can kill me or something. Uh, because I, you know, as you can see, I've got nothing on. It looks like a lot of these people. Oh, actually, no, none of these people have armor. What am I talking about? I don't get how people are getting armor though. It's gotta be in a kit. One of these kits. Maybe it's in kit member. Maybe kit member pick is what I already have, and kit member is like diamond gear or something. These are the crates. Now you can see there is a Vogue crate over here, as well as Epic crate, Rare crate, Unique crate, Godly crate, and Rebirth crate, which is the top one. You can get nine rewards from that. I don't know about these, and this is the Vogue crate. So if I, nope, uh, left click this, you can see you can get a certain amount of orbs. Also, multipliers, which I definitely need some of. I don't get the difference between these, because they're both times five multipliers for 10 minutes, but this one's uncommon and this one's rare. So, okay then. And 100,000 magic dust. Um, 
I don't know what you use magic dust for, either. Um, so I should probably learn that. Doesn't seem like these have very much. Again, you can get some more orbs in this. This is I apparently vote crate is higher than the epic crate because the like lowest thing in here is 10k, but here you get 1k up to 5k and 50k magic dust. Dust. So in here, is this even worse? No, this is better than. It's better than the epic crate. That's for sure. It's probably also better than the uh, Vogue crate over here. Because even though you get much less orbs, everything else is higher. And there's more things in here. And then there, I really don't get why this has so much orbs. I think they accidentally put 10k instead of 1k. Or something. I'm not exactly sure. But that is a lot of orbs just for Vogue crate. Like, even look at this. This is the top, this is the top crate. The rebirth crate. And the highest thing is 100k, which is exactly the same as this. Both of them are rare. So, yeah. You get some backpacks, gem boxes, don't know what those are, ranks, name tags, keys, certain amounts of magic dust, still don't know what those are, and up to a times 25 multiplier for 10 minutes. It's pretty overpowered. Uh, I should probably vote so that I can get myself some multipliers, mul mul multipliers, because I definitely need them. Um, and hopefully if I get uh, this magic dusk, I can dust, I keep saying dusk, if I can get the magic dust, I'll probably just sell it since I don't really need it. Really? When a, whenever a bedrock joins the server, apparently there's like a whole chat message dedicated to it. Okay, bedrock must cost a lot then, but there is also a ton of bedrock players on, so I'm not sure. Uh, yeah. So, that's probably going to be it for the video. I do want to check out the kits first, though, because uh, these it seems to be these are the only ones I can get. But you can purchase iron all the way up to bedrock once. Oh, okay, I see how this goes. So you can purchase iron, purchase iron all the way up to bedrock, and then there's also orbs and apparently berserker. I've never seen anyone with a berserker rank, though. So I don't think that's a rank. I think that's probably a one-time thing. I'm not exactly sure, though. Uh... Slash, kit, uh, slash kits. Uh, and then there's all these ones, which are basically, you can get them only once when you get that rank. So, for example, iron, iron once, gold, gold once, all the way up to bedrock, and this is bedrock once. I want to see what this looks like. Okay, then. Uh, apparently, we can't preview that. Can we preview any of these? Is there... Okay, we can't preview any of the onces. This is Berserker. It's sharp. It's everything 12. Everything 12, so Sharp 12, Unbreaking 12, Fire Aspect 12, Looting 12, and the equivalent of that on here, plus Efficiency 12. A bow with Punch 2, so you can bow boost. Power 8, that's excessive. Uh, flame 1 and Infinity 1, and a single arrow. Uh, doesn't give you any armor, though, so that's not great. This is Iron just the iron rank and you can get uh, up to prot 6 it looks like as well as you get some notch apples iron pickaxe uh, yeah all the way up to bedrock this is the top rank you get 7 notch apples prot 12 uh, sharp 10 with fire aspect 7 power 7 flame 1 and infinity 1 and pretty dang good pickaxe not the best but definitely one of them um, if you're not like trying to make a god pickaxe or anything so uh, yeah that's pretty nice so I'm gonna do a slash kit member pick, uh, and I do actually, I wanna preview what's in kit member. Okay, so it's just prop five. So it does have, you know, stuff that I need. So let me do slash kit member. I'll put all this on, so now we are about ready to go. I don't have a place that I can store this separate member pickaxe though. So that's not good. How often do these reset? Every 10 minutes I can get a member pick, and every week I can get kit member. That's a lot of member picks. I don't know why you need even close to that many. Like, maybe one a month, considering they never break. So, okay then. Um, but yeah, we can probably sell this somewhere, because I did see some people uh, that were buying them. You can't put it on slash AH, that's not a thing here. So, yeah, I'll figure out something that I can use this for. And for this uh, member pickaxe, we're going to probably end up using it as our god pickaxe, because we should start with that. I have, you know, millions of orbs, so I, I think I can handle 
uh, having a few good enchants on this pickaxe, but this, you only need level 1, and I do, as you can see, have level 2, so I can, let's do, uh, I currently have it at level 20. So let's do shift click that, and now we are at 120. That took away practically nothing. Okay, I'm lag spiking again. Okay, shift click. Oh, actually, crap, that took way too, that took a lot of orbs. Okay, well, there we go. That's, that's the maximum amount of orbs that we can do. So now, I really hope I didn't actually need to use this for anything, but now we've got fortune 159. So let's do slash mine, and let's see how much that's actually going to give us. So let's just mine a little bit here. I'm lagging a little bit, but that definitely helps us go faster. Right now, I think it's only using fortune on the coal, though. It's not using any fortune on iron because uh, it doesn't automatically smelt it. It's only iron ore that I'm mining. It's not auto smelt. But yeah, look at this, guys. We are already a third of the way through, so I'm just going to finish a bit of a... Okay, what is the block glitch here? I'm going to finish mining through this mine while I do my outro, and uh, hopefully I'll be able to grind maybe two or three more mines in the next video. Uh, I will probably be spending practically all of the stuff that I have on Fortune, considering how overpowered this quite clearly is. Somebody mined this very neatly, and for that, I am very happy, because I hate when people make the mine a mess, like I'm doing right now. But anyways, I hope you all enjoyed this episode of Minecraft Fade Cloud Prison. Sorry if it was a bit long, because I feel like I did this a little bit long. Uh, let me do slash rank up here, and we can do slash mine and go to G. But yeah, again, here we go got some gold. Sorry if this was a little long. I feel like it was. Uh, I will try to edit it down if I can. Uh, I surprisingly didn't have to restart Minecraft, which makes me happy. I am going to be getting a new computer soon, so that's not going to be a problem. But right now, considering I am running this on a... Uh, well, this is using the beta version of Vista, so probably around 12 years old. Beta, like, or Vista officially came out in 2007, but since this is beta, it's probably from uh, 2006. But yeah, anyways, uh, sorry for video being a little bit laggy. Um, hopefully you guys can bear with that until I get my new computer and in a week or two weeks or a certain amount of time, and I'm lag spiking. Well, that's pretty wonderful if I do say so myself gotta love it when I lag spike, especially when I'm doing my outro, so I can't actually do my outro. I just kind of have to wait until the lag spike stops before I can properly finish the video. But, um, yeah. Anyways, I hope you guys all enjoyed this video. Please leave a like and subscribe if you did, and peace.